Hey, Ken Reed here, TV Guidance Counselor. Today we're talking about fall 1987, 35 years ago, and some of the shows you may have missed. Today, we're talking about women in prison. Fox Television's first full season was 1987. They greenlit a slew of sitcoms, not all great, but all pretty strange, and this is one of them. Essentially the most generically named television series maybe in history. It's like store brand Orange is the New Black. In two weeks, Women in Prison starts at its regular time on Saturday nights, where the saga of Cell Block J continues. Will our misguided heroine ever make friends with the hookers and killers, or is she destined to scrub out the latrines forever? Women in Prison, at its regular day and time, Saturday, October 24th. It was more or less a modern-day women-centric Hogan's Heroes that took place in a women's prison. It had a really good cast. You had Julia Campbell, Blake Clark, Peggy Cass, CCH Pounder, uh, Denny Dillon, Wendy Jo Sperber. It's a really good cast. It's just not fantastic. Is she, <laughs> you know, strange? Strange? Oh, you mean gay? Yes. No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I've heard about people like that in places like this. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about Dawn. She's totally straight. Mm. Hi, Barney. <sighs> it only aired 13 episodes, which frankly is kind of astounding that it even made it that far, although Fox had already invested some money in it. Uh, it's not especially funny talk to virginia she handles work assignments who's virginia she's one of your fellow inmates she works as my secretary go out and talk to her but there's nobody out there It's a good bet. But it is an odd concept. More or less a completely all-female cast takes place in a prison and is a multicam sitcom because nothing's funnier than prison. Women in Prison is brought to you by Duracell, the copper top battery. No battery lasts longer. And by New Chicken Little Sandwiches at most Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants.